Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will continue doing retopology of this 3D sculpt model just using this amazing free add-on which is Polyquilt add-on. So let's get started. As shown here, I have retopologized just the lips for this 3D model. Then I'm gonna be hovering over here and hold down the left mouse button and go over all these uh, features and tools as shown here Polyquilt you can select for example a loop cut like this you can add the loop cut as shown here and you can see it it's better uh, and this loop cut versus uh, created using this loop cut is going to snap to the surface of the lip in the middle as shown here and you can hover also over this section to add a loop cut so control Z escape to undo because we have a triangle over here we have a problem to add in a loop cut going through this uh, section and through this area as shown here, here in our tutorial you can add loop cut you just go over here, click and uh, hold the left mouse button and select loop cut between those options and go over here and you can add a loop cut just like this and that's pretty amazing and those vertices uh, go into snap to the surface of this uh, 3D model as shown here so let's continue extruding and working on that retopology we have the polyquilt knife polyquilt i don't use other tools just i'm gonna be using extrude so we should select extrude while working on that uh, topology as shown here you can select for example this uh, edge like this and extrude it up just do it again and we have we have to enable uh, this feature, auto merge feature, in order to merge all these verses, and saving a lot of time when doing that retopology. And watch this; it's pretty amazing. This uh, this stuff, and you can do it without wasting and hating the topology because topology, it's retopology, it's pretty hard can also work just like this if you want to add another vertex and click on the right mouse button to escape to undo or escape so just go over here for example you can select just like this and control z to undo escape then select uh, just i'm gonna be extrude in And it's amazing. You can try also this feature. Let me show you this amazing feature. If you want, for example, to fill up this gap in between all those vertices, just drag and extrude, and it's gonna be merging automatically those vertices closer to this section over here. For for example, so let's extrude this edge like this. For example, in the case where we have uh, this section is going down a little bit and we have more protrusion over there, you can at the same time move those vertices, Ctrl Z. Make sure that you have enabled the extrude feature as shown here. So let me show you some amazing features for this add-on, Ctrl Z. Let's add a look at, go over here, select look at so let's add the look at over there just like this let's see what we have I think it's not bad but this is gonna this is, is going off this area but uh, just I'm going to go back to select and enable it like this move this vertex over there escape move this vertex over there 
But this time, let's see how to symmetrize all what you have done over here. Go over mesh, then symmetrize. It's gonna be showing up this pop up menu, symmetrize feature, and you can select the uh, symmetrical appearance on X and axis. Uh, should you should make sure that you have selected all those vertices in order to symmetrize them. Ctrl Z, hit A to select all those vertices, then go over mesh, click on it, and search for symmetrize. Click on that symmetrize. And that's pretty amazing, as shown here. And you can do the topology with this add-on just in a few seconds and a few minutes in order to save a lot of time uh, when you come when you come to retopology let's try another feature to delete some verses and something like that just go over here select that delete like this for example if you want to delete that vertex is going to be uh, making this uh, section for example we want to delete that edge and just you can delete it like this ctrl z to undo so let's try another tool uh, for example hold and shift ctrl z And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you find it useful and try to use it yourself in projects like this to for topology, thanks for watching.